Good evening, Nightcrawlers. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? If you're new and you're just stumbling on this little coven we got going on here, well, my name is Blue and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, then please hit the subscribe button down below and please hit the like button and the bell notification. Make sure the bell is set to all just so you're notified every time I post a new video. But if you're not new and you're a returning coven member, then well, how you doing? I hope your day or night is going well. And I don't want anyone commenting about my eyebrows. Don't, no one. I try to make them as similar as possible. I don't want to hear it. But today, if you didn't see by the title, then we are doing a pastel goth style makeup look. And I wanted to match my shirt I got going on here. This top is from Etsy. I think it's a Mer Bunny Baby Shop. This fishnet shirt is from Hot Topic. And so if you want to see how I got to look in the thumbnail using some makeup a murder pigment, then please keep on watching. <music> to start, we're using the P. Louise base and rumor number zero. I'm applying it with a sponge this time. I typically apply it with a brush. So let's see how this goes. I'm excited to use the Makeup a Murder pigments in depth this time. I don't, I haven't really dedicated a full out video to using them. So I'm pretty excited. I have a paper plate here that I am thinking of putting the, all the shadows on, but I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I want the base color to be the pastel purple this one they don't have any shades so i'm just going to refer to them to the, the colors i'm just going to put this on the paper and then i think i'm just going to like maybe run this through the crease i don't know let's figure it out so i don't know if you can see i got the product right there on a little paper plate it might not be enough so i might have to put more on but if I need like a little bit extra, I do have the Pure Heart Beauty Christie palette and I do have the colorful side. And I brought this out because it has a white to mix in with these other shades to make them more pastel. And I also have the Shroud Cosmetics and Creepy Cute Singles. I don't have the palette because by the time I got them, the palette was sold out. And I have this purple shade right here, which is Planchette. So if I want a little bit more purple colors not just that one i do have some options so i'm gonna dip in to the shade with the wet and wild fluffy crease brush i'm just gonna dip off the excess onto the palette i do have some napkins right in front of me and then i don't know if you'll be able to see well i hope so because I don't have my glasses on and let me just look straight up so you can see see how this fold goes on my eye a little bit i have slightly hooded eyes because of that fold so see you can see the creasing and so i'm gonna try to put this shadow like above by my brow bone but first i'm gonna stamp wow pigment stamp that fluffy brush back and forth i am stamping because stamping is going to dispose the most pigment and then once all of that pigment is on that's when i'm gonna start blending back and forth i'm gonna start using circular motions and windshield wipers i'm thinking of this is gonna be like a more diffused look. I'm kind of just like winging it. What I'm noticing about the shades, not shades, the this pigment, is that it's really easily buildable. And I'm just ever so slightly taking this like into the crease, but not by much at all. To be honest, I am focusing this more on the top, if that makes sense. And then I love to take my shadows like right here by the brow. I like it because it just helps with the nose contour. Speaking of, I'm just going to take it down just a little. Wow, that purple shade is beautiful. I love that. Look how pretty that looks. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to dip in to my palettes that I have here. I could just put like liner on in a like a, in a shimmer 
and literally just call it a day. This is beautiful. But I do want to add a little bit more shade. I'm thinking of putting these two shades, the kind of pastel turquoise teal blue and the regular blue on the underside because those shades go with this little bunny right here. I might put some yellow in there. The pink though, I am not sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe diffuse that into the crease a little bit. Okay, so I'm taking a more pointier, like a more tapered, I should say, fluffy brush. This is from Morphe. I'm just tapping off the excess on my little plate. You can use whatever you have. I don't have a mixing palette or else I would have put them on a mixing palette, but a plate works just fine too. You see that little fold right there? I'm gonna tucker that pink shade right in that little fold crease. Let's see how this works. I don't know. You see why I chose a more tapered brush? I know I just got like a shit ton of that on that purple. But don't worry, we're gonna blend them, marry them, and see, I'm just wiggling that brush right in that crease. And because this brush is tapered, it allows more precision into that crease. You see that soft pink to purple gradient? I'm just kind of building up my shades marrying them and honestly like i really do think that already that looks so pretty so to create like a in between shade like a mid-tone shade i ever so slightly i'm gonna try to show you guys dipped into the kind of residue of both of the shades i'm just going to smush that right in between the pink and the purple and i am barely barely touching my eye with this brush i need to get another one of this brush because this brush is amazing so now honestly like i don't know if i want to do any more with these shadows i think i just want to put like a shimmer on top and then i do want to do like some liner since i already have this palette here the pierre rabbit christy i have the shade cafe disco right here it reminds me of Ritz from ColourPop, but with a little bit more base, and that base is pink. But other than that, like, I know it looks scary, but trust me, in person, it's actually not that intense. But you see what I mean? Where it kind of reminds me of Ritz from ColourPop, but with uh, just a tad more base. Because it's just like all little sparkly particles of shimmer just like all flying around with just like a pink kind of base i know it doesn't look pink and it looks very white but i promise it doesn't look as white as it does in person and i'm not going to cut the crease actually because i like all of the sort of pastel shades on my lid and i'm actually just going back with the brushes and i'm just making sure that i have more of them on my lid you can do this however you want I honestly just wing every single look. So let's put the shimmer on. Oh my God, that's beautiful. This shimmer is so pretty. It's to die for. But because of my eyes and my eye shape, I'm actually gonna take that shimmer above that little fold. Shimmers are on. I'm actually gonna take like a fluffy brush. This is the e.l.f. crease brush. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to fluff that shimmer into the crease. Some people are probably going to scream and be like, no, don't put a shimmer on the crease. But I like the look and it's going to help the more diffused look. It's just going to look like a fairy just shat all over my eye. And I love that. I'm just gonna take that right up into that purple too. I just kind of want to put that like over there. It's subtle and I feel like it's not too crazy, which honestly, 
I don't mind. I feel like today I didn't want something too crazy. I wanted this pastel goth kind of look to be so simple for everybody. So I feel like I'm gonna do some eyeliner. So liner, do something with my face, and I'll be so right back. Concealer's on. I actually don't think I'm gonna put on bronzer today. I think it's just gonna be blush, highlight, and then we're gonna finish up the under eyes. I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk angle blush brush. And I think I'm gonna go in here and then do that hot pink shade. Right now, I'm just gonna go right here. Like on like above the apples, I'm going on the nose bridge and same area. I have some paper towels right next to me. That's where I'm personally tapping off the excess, but then you could build this up as, you, as much as you want or as little as you want. This is so cute, I love it. And then now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the hot pink shade side effect and then a dab of flavor tone. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm tapping it away on the paper towel. And then I'm just gonna take it back here. I'm almost like contouring with the blush. And look at the beautiful gradient. And the under eyes, I know I said that I wanted to do that blue and green, but I've got a lot of pink and purple. I don't know. I still might do it. Who knows? I'm just going to take some on the chin. And if it's too much for some, I'm just going to take my sponge, which had the powder on it. I'm just going to calm it down. I love this amount of blush, but not many people do. I'm going to try to do something with oh, the other Sorry, I am in a hurry. Um, I don't think I ha will have time to do the blue, green, and yellow, but next time i definitely will i put the liner and i put some white eyeliner on my lash line because it doesn't work on my waterline my lashes are on no they're not on well don't talk about it these are the you're not pets glam lashes and truly mac valiant and wet and wild color icon no let's do highlight i'm gonna take this one because i have it right here this highlight is from Lottie london i'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush this also on my inner corner put my brows on we'll finish my brows with the next stick it stick it alrighty look how cute that looks I feel like I don't have enough purple I'm gonna put some purple back here to blend things I'm mixing it with that highlight a little bit. I'm gonna take some of I look so adorable. I'm sorry that this makeup look was all over the place. I feel really bad that this video may be so short, but I hope you guys really like this video anyway. And with that all being said, I think that I'm going to have to cut this look really short. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to show you guys a lot of the look i thought i had more time but things escalated super quickly i hope you guys still like this pastel goth look i think i look so freaking cute i might do some like mascara drops but that's i wanted to add this in here i am back from my dinner and my makeup looks great but i did want to try to add the colors the yellow the turquoise and the blue to see if it's not too late so i have the cap for the yellow one right there i'm gonna take just from the cap and then i'm just gonna add it because i already have the black over here i'm gonna add them to the front and then i'm gonna put them under Oh, that looks so cute. You see that wash of color? That does look cute and it does tie in with the shirt actually. So I'm gonna try to add more of this. I'll be right back this green one and the blue one right in front of me. I think I'm just gonna use the same brush. Dip into the cat. This might ruin it, but. It ties in with the yellow and the shirt. Wow, that's so cute. And then now I'm taking that blue and then I'm just gonna be pressing it like under that white and then slowly bringing it down into my eye bag. 
I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying to take it into my eye bag because I just feel like it looks so cute like that. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used with the purple. I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna kind of like blend it all out. Okay, now I think it looks even cuter and I just love how that yellow, like kind of turquoise green ties in with this little bunny right here. I even try to smoke out like just a little bit of the purple and put like some of the black on the eyelashes. I think it looks super cute. I still hope that you guys like this look and I hope that you guys like this little tie-in because I still wanted to try to implement these colors but so far I really like these pigments. This has been the first time that I've actually used them and I can't wait to do the neon ones. I feel like maybe that'll be in the next one but so far verdict on these is a win now it's back to past blue so thank you guys so much for watching this video again i'm so sorry that this video is short i hope you still like this video and please comment down below what you would like to see from me next please stay tuned for friday's video which is going to be my weekly vlog and please stay safe out there i love you guys please help one another and blessed be